one of the challenges and maybe even confusing things inside of on one is knowing which masking tools to use and how they overlap with one another. So in this video, what I want to do is kind of break down how you can use the masking tools in on one to get the edits that you're looking for, or at least the selections that you're looking for. So let's jump into the computer and take a look. Uh, the first tool that a lot of people talk about is the super select AI tool. This is using AI algorithms to kind of identify what aspects of the photo are animal, car, man-made things, all kinds of stuff. When you click on it, as you can see, on one's going to analyze the image to figure out what is what in that image. And it does a pretty decent job at finding uh, large things. The new version of the super select AI tool really allows you to finely select different aspects. So once the image gets done analyzing, and this is going to be different uh, time span for the analyzation that it uh, complete based off of computers. So sometimes it's really fast on my computer. Sometimes it takes 30 seconds. So it just depends. Um, but once you have it, it is one of the faster ways of making selections inside of on one. Uh, because if I want to select just this line, what I can do is I'll come down here and I will draw a box by clicking and dragging around the line and on one is intelligent enough to figure out like hey i know you had a little bit of grass in there uh, you even have this little wall back here in your selection but i'm pretty confident you really just wanted this line dude uh, which i did now i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to hold down the space bar and i am going to drag down here it's not perfect as you can see right uh, but if I hover over this, it gives me more of that area selected. So now I just need to click and then I can even get into these little paw areas, click there and I can even select here. All right. Uh, I think you get the point. My computer will take a little bit of time to uh, make that selection. Let's zoom out. We're going to keep our selection as is. The challenge or the confusing part isn't really making the selections or how the super select AI tool works. It's really how do you use the super select AI tool versus using a different tool, uh, which we'll talk about here in a second. So if you select the super select AI tool, this is an opportunity for you to kind of edit in a different way. All right. This to me is a very different workflow. Uh, as you've seen earlier, this little circle was not checked. Show styles fly out. So if I right click, you can see that I am now getting different uh, adjustments that will go over the image. All right. Now, that's obviously not what I want. And it looks like it lost my selection of the lion. So let's go ahead and select that lion one more time. And now if I right click, the adjustment should be going over the lion. So you can see that the adjustments are going over the lion, but it's just the basic adjustment of what pops up over here on the right side. OK, what most people want to be able to do is apply the exact adjustment that they wanted over their uh, subject. So let's select it again. I don't know why it keeps uh, deselecting, but we will select it again by clicking and dragging. All right. So we got the selection and then we're going to click on the little circle up here that says show styles fly out. And what that does is when I right click on the lion, I get these little fly out menus over to the right hand side. And what that allows me to do is if I'm like, OK, you know what? I think I need to open the shadows on the lion. It, if you have brushes, especially in the adjustments, this is like super powerful. But if you have styles that you've already made and you're like, yeah, you know what? That's really going to do great with my animal eye brush. Nah, not so much. All right. But I can select any of these uh, fly out options. So I'll select the let's just add some contrast. Yeah, we'll add contrast to the line. So now I've added contrast to the line and I can go on and make other selections. Right. So with the lion still selected, I can then right click and I can say, OK, what else do I need to do? Oh, well, I need to boost his exposure. So I'll boost his exposure. So now I have two adjustments over here. 
I have the contrast adjustment, which is this one right here. And then I also have the exposure boost adjustment, uh, which is right there. Let's say I also wanted to do something more. So let's select the line again. And then I will right click and I want to, I want to add a grunge filter to the line. So I can hover over here and say, okay, what do I want to do? Uh, maybe something like just enough darkness. We'll do that. So I'll click there and I'm like, uh, you know what? I don't actually like the way that that looks on my line. I can come over here to the properties and I can hit the invert. And now this is going to go everywhere except for on my line. And whenever you use these AI masking tools, it's always a good idea to pop in a little bit of feather. And this just helps with the blending option uh, or blending of those AI selections. All right. So now I have quickly edited my image. What if I was working on the image and I realized like, hey, I actually want to use the super select AI, uh, but not in the workflow that I just demonstrated. Instead, let's go ahead and reset this. We'll get rid of all of the uh, the edits there and I'll click add filter and we're going to throw on a split tone and we're going to like make this like really, really crazy. Let's say we really, really love this blue look, but I don't want it on my lion. Well, what I can do is click on the layer mask here for the split tone option. All right. What you don't want to do is come over to the super select AI and think that that's how you're going to make your selection. Instead, you want to click on the layer mask option or the effect mask for split tone. And then we're going to come over to our drop down menu and we're going to select quick mask AI brush. Now there's two different quick masks. Uh, this is the OG quick mask, like paint, a little green line. And if you're new to on one, don't worry about it. Uh, my recommendation to a lot of people is to use now with the updated version of on one, I definitely recommend using the quick mask AI brush. Uh, in fact, I think they updated it in 2024.5. I'm just going to go ahead and click drag, select the line again, let on one do its thing. It missed the back portion of the line. So we'll select there. And now I have my line selected again, at least most of the line. I'm just doing this really quickly to show you. And what I want to do is erase the effect from the line. So I'm going to click on erase and then I'm going to click the check mark. And the lion is going to receive that uh, like that's going to go away from the line. Obviously, that doesn't look the greatest. I was just trying to showcase how you can make this uh, work out. And then, you know, maybe I'll just pull the opacity down or something like that on the effect if I wanted to really keep that blue effect. But if I wanted to, I can now jump through all of these other options of split tone and it's not going to impact my lion. The real goal in this video here was to show you the difference between using the layer or the effect mask and then grabbing the quick mask uh, AI brush versus using the super select AI, which is really for people who want to edit on the fly um, and start making adjustments without having to click through the ad filter uh, because essentially you're already making your selection and you're adding in the information or the effects that are of interest to you or at least good for your photo. So hopefully that helped clarify when you should go for the super select AI tool versus going for the quick mask AI brush. Now, if you got questions, leave it in the comment section below. I am going to go through every last one of the masking tools inside of on one. I just wanted to start with the AI ones because they have improved over the years or at least uh, since the release of I think it was 23, but don't quote me on that they've improved over the time, all right? And on one continues to build these tools so that way we can make more accurate and faster selections. If you got questions about masking, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. 
Uh, and if I can't answer it in writing, then I will try to turn it into a video so that way you can follow along. Now, if you want to save a little bit of money and help the channel at the same time, consider using my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20 whenever you shop on the On One website. It's going to save you a little bit of money and it's going to allow me to earn a little bit of money so I can keep investing in this channel and I greatly appreciate it. So with that, until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.